Hi guys, it's Catherine. I'm sitting on my couch, but this just isn't a general chit chat. Today I was out for my walk and as I was out there and sweating away, that's why I look the way that I do right now. The song from the 1960s, an R&B song called Chains of Fools, I think it was called, you know, that chain, chain, chain. Well, that song came to my mind, but the Lord reminded me of how I used to sing it as a kid. I thought it was shame, 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 shame of fools. And I felt like the Lord was saying I actually had it right when I was a kid because shame becomes a chain and wraps itself around us and yanks us into the darkness and the only way that those chains of shame can break off of us is if we step past the fear of what will happen if we show somebody what's really going on in our heart if we don't step past that fear and if we don't take that risk that we might be rejected then those chains will become stronger and stronger and the enemy will yank on those chains with fear and deception and yank us deeper and deeper into the darkness and i'm talking to fellow believers right now those of you who might have hidden addictions those of you who have got some issues in your life that you know that you need to be dealing with but you have been so afraid that if you brought these things into the light that you would somehow see your life completely exposed it doesn't matter where you are in that shame but if you're at a place right now where perhaps you've been holding yourself accountable to others about a certain area of your life and you're beginning to slip down that slippery slope back into behaviors that you know that you shouldn't be picture it like this it's kind of like you got your wrist bound but it's just lightly light and just with a little cotton thread and at this point you can easily just break those threads apart and you break those threads apart by going to people who will hold you accountable and who know a little bit of what you've gone through in the past. And as you go to them and say, hey, you know what? I'm really struggling here and I'm afraid of where I might be going. You're going to see those threads dissolve right off your wrist with no effort at all. However, if you continue to allow shame and the fear of being exposed to entrap you while you continue in the behavior that you know is doing you harm and other people harm. The enemy will be coming in with stronger rope and then pretty soon chains and those chains, he can yank on those chains and pull you deeper and deeper into the darkness and your jailkeeper in that dark place, they've got names. But the main name is fear. Fear of being exposed, fear of rejection, fear of the consequences that you might face if you expose your heart, all of these things. But Jesus has the key. However, many times, I say the vast majority of times the only way we can break free from shame is by being transparent in the body of Christ. Am I saying that you need to spill all of your stuff to everybody that you know you come across with? No, that wouldn't be wise. But do hold yourself accountable. Don't allow the enemy to lie to you that there is nobody in your life who you can talk to about this stuff who won't reject you. That is one of the lies that's keeping you bound up.
I strongly feel that the Lord was telling me this morning on my walk that there are many believers in all streams of life who are being yanked further and further into the darkness because they have allowed shame to become their keeper and they have deadened their heart to the Holy Spirit's conviction. And the Holy Spirit's conviction is always birthed from a place of inviting you into a place of freedom and light. The Lord is here to set the captives free, but you need to allow him to unlock that door that you have allowed yourself to be hidden behind. Allow him to lead you to a place of healing and the only place that healing is going to be able to be facilitated is in the light and by you allowing your fellow brothers and sisters in Christ to speak into those areas of your heart that you just don't want anyone to know about. And remember that the only way shame can hold you captive is if you believe that by staying in the darkness, you will find freedom.